All you need is an Arduino with power supply and a USB cable and Excel running on a PC. In this demonstration, we're going to read a voltage using a potentiometer. So let's gather our stuff and head over to the computer. Okay, now that you have your Arduino IDE program opened up, let's go ahead and open up a basic example that reads the analog voltage from our potentiometer. So we can go to File, Examples, Basics, and Read Analog Voltage. And when you click that, this program will open up. So first things, we just need to make two changes. We need to make sure our serial speed matches what we're going to be using in the Excel. So here I changed it to the uh, 115 200 and I also added in a delay of 100 down at the bottom. We can go ahead plug in our Arduino and make sure it's connected. Mine is on COM5 and then we can upload it. We'll see that it's uploading. Now we can double check. We can go to tools. We can go to serial monitor. We can open this up a little bit. And now as I turn the potentiometer, we can see the values changing. So we know that the program is working on the Arduino just fine. Now it's important that we close out the serial monitor because when we open up the Excel and try to connect, we'll get an error if it's still connected. We can go ahead and close out the Arduino program now and head over to Excel. Okay, now that you have Excel opened up with a new spreadsheet, first thing we have to do is to enable the data streaming add-in. We'll go over to File, go down to Options, we'll go over to Add-ins, go down to Com Add-ins and hit Go. You want to enable the checkbox for the Microsoft Data Streaming for Excel. Hit OK. And now you'll see up top here the Data Streamer tab opens up. Now we'll go ahead and click that. We'll connect a device. Now make sure your Arduino is connected to the USB already. It already found mine on COM5, so I'll go ahead and select it and it connected to it. You'll notice down on the bottom, five new tabs opened up. Sheet one is your basic Excel spreadsheet sheet where you can manipulate data. Data in will show all of the data streaming from your Arduino. Data out is data from your spreadsheet that will be sent to the Arduino using the serial port. Settings, there's various settings. You can set how many data rows or input channels you have. Right now we're only using two, so 10 is fine. And then manifest has the data interval time as well as the baud rate. Make sure this matches what's in your Arduino program. So we'll go ahead, go back to data in, go up to data streamer, and we'll hit start data. And now you see the data streaming in from the Arduino. And as I turn the potentiometer, you see the values adjusting in real time. What you can also do is record the data in an Excel file. So go back to Data Streamer and hit the Record Data button. And it will record all of your data for the session as long as you keep it going. And then when it's time to stop it and you want to save the file, hit Data Streamer again and hit stop recording and now it will prompt you with a file name and location to save all of the data. Now to manipulate the data in real time go ahead and select all of the data and it's as simple as inserting just regular graphs or however you want to display the data. I entered in a bar graph and as I turn the potentiometer you see it adjusting in real time. Now if we want to go ahead and enter in another graph, this time let's do a line graph. Go over here, select line, and now you see we have a line graph as well. So you can display the information on your own custom dashboard and add it to all of your projects. As you can see, it really is that easy to create a custom dashboard and store all your data with minimal equipment. Hopefully you found this helpful for your projects, and if you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It really does help the channel.
Thank you and stay creative.